This seminar is about guerrilla filmmaking. So those of you who have been in my classes before know that I like to start by defining terms because it's like what everybody interprets things differently. So let's start with the first one. What is film? Is my first question. And, and, and again, I always give hints, like a good screenplay writer always gives hints, right? It's not like the actor comes in like, what is this about? Who's this character? It's, it's on the page. Well, literally, it's on the screen. <laughs> what is film? What do, you, what, do you, what do you see here? It's a medium. Good answer. I think that's critical to, to, to realize that. It's just a medium. And, and, and it's just like, when people say, I want to make a film, People don't say, I want to make a cassette tape anymore, right? People don't say, I want to make an 8-track. I'm dating myself. But, but like, we actually, very few people actually shoot on film today. Um, but it's good to know what a film is because we're, we inherited all of the, that, that, t that knowledge, that technology, that look. We're used to it. So very simply put, Celluloid, cellulose acetate is what film is. It was it's over a hundred years old and it works by light exposure. So understanding how light works and, and, and the physics of it is really important because that, that affects things like lighting, that affects things like, like um, lens choices, it affects things, all, all sorts of things that I'll get into shortly. Um, anybody hear of this term persistence of vision? If you're into film, this is a good thing to, to keep in mind. You may not know, again, you may not know this term, but you know the concept. I'm very sure you guys know this concept. I'll get back to that later. Um, finally, film started basically with stills, still images, or photography. So this is my quick definition of photography, that you basically use a piece of acetate paper or, or celluloid to capture light. Literally, it's, it's basically the exposure of light on this special paper and what you, obs, obs, uh, you obscure with light gives us that image. And that's why it started off as black and white. Papers start off as just black and white and whatever casts a shadow you know, would leave a mark of that's the, a different value than, than what light would do. And that's how it, film basically works. So it's important to keep in mind, this is what it started with because we've inherited everything. So, Okay, so light is very important to film, right? To filmmaking. Even now with digital, light is critical. We, we just hit on that, like lighting a scene. So let's start with a very basic, what is light? This is a classic if you've taken physics. Is, is light, in physics, things are made of particles um, or waves or things like that. So is light a wave or a particle? Does anybody know? Hmm? Particle. You're half right. Trick question. It's both. <laughs> it, it's a particle that moves like a wave. And I always like, I just remember this from physics class. Um, why is it important to, to know this? I'm not going to get into the, the, the physics and science of, of light and particles, but it's really cool to know. Once I, I, I was a lighter before, and knowing this stuff really helped me with my job. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's wavelengths, amplitude, frequency, all the things that a wave has. But the critical thing to take away from this is that light follows the laws of physics. That's, that's simply it. You can predict it. You can, con you can guide it. You know decay rates. You know intensity. You, you know, all these things. So, so light is, a, is something that's scientifically measurable and manageable or predictable in many ways.